plastic pollution is identified as one of a global issue including in Malaysia. The problem is not plastic itself, but the way we consumers use and dispose plastic. Up to 50% of all plastic produced are single-use plastic and global estimates show that a staggering 13 million tons of plastics are swept into the oceans every year. In fact, a study has predicted if we do not address this issue, by 2050, on a weight basis, there will be more plastics than fish in the oceans. Experts estimate that 80% of marine debris comes from land-based sources. Plastic pollution is a threat to marine ecosystem, biodiversity and nation's food security. Realising the vitality for a countermeasure on the issue particularly plastics, Ministry of Environment and Water has come up with an initiative of 50% marine plastic pollution reduction by 2030 as included in CASA's strategic roadmap under the pillar of strategic collaboration. The government has come up with Malaysia's roadmap towards zero single-use plastic 2018-2030 that was launched on 17 October during IGEM 2018. The roadmap's vision is towards zero single-use plastic for a cleaner and healthier environment in Malaysia by 2030. The vision is in line with our aspiration to promote sustainable development by balancing economic growth with environmental protection in line with Sustainable Development Goals SDG. This roadmap aims to provide a policy direction to all stakeholders in taking a unified and collective approach to overcome plastic pollution. Hence, we plan to address single-use plastics by encouraging the plastic industry to shift to manufacturing eco-friendly products. This is to ensure the industry thrives by adapting green technology while safeguarding the environment. The approach of this roadmap divided into three main phases, which are Phase 1, 2018 to 2021, Phase 2, 2022 to 2025, and Phase 3, 2026 to 2030 with specific targets respectively. The current implementation of this roadmap are harmonizing pollution charge mechanism with local authority, no straw by default practice, advocating extended producer responsibility and preparing circular economy roadmap for plastic. And currently, Malaysia is making a move to transform from traditional linear plastic economy towards circular economy. The linear methods of production and consumption are unsustainable for our planet, which model of produce, use, dispose is wasteful by design. Circular economy is a model of production, consumption, waste management, which involves sharing, leasing, reusing, repairing, refurbishing, and recycling existing materials and products as long as possible. In this way, the life cycle of products is extended. It implies reducing waste to the minimum. Since tackling plastic pollution is a shared responsibility, this circular economy for plastic will be implemented successfully as all stakeholders play their roles accordingly. Which dot represents you? Currently, there are three ongoing activities in collaboration with strategic development partners. The Ministry is working with World Bank to develop circular economy roadmap for plastics and market study to identify plastic circularity opportunities and barriers. At the same time, MGTC is also collaborating with GIZ to undertake collaboration actions for single-use plastics prevention in Southeast Asia. Through membership in coordinating body on the seas of East Asia, COPC, since 1981, Malaysia is chosen by United Nations Environment Program UNEP to carry out reducing marine litter by addressing the management of the plastic value chain in Southeast Asia project known as Sea Circular Project. The Sea Circular Project aims to achieve the following setting up clear direction for marine litter management in Malaysia tackling threat of marine litter to sustainability of marine ecosystem and resources, tackling marine plastic pollution at source, and strengthening 
the conduct of circular economy initiative. The approach in achieving these objectives are by developing a national marine litter roadmap, and it is expected to be launched in December 2020. This roadmap encourages public sector's involvement in plastic footprint reporting and market-based incentive for plastic recycling. This initiative by CASA will eventually contribute to various sectors such as economy, sustainable marine ecosystem, and coastal community well-being.